important that everyone take advantage of all the opportunities that you have all the time uh, that you have to adequately prepare yourself uh, and your family. As you just heard, the state of Louisiana is bracing for a category for hurricane named Ida. Good evening and welcome to BNC Live on this Friday evening. It is August the 27th. I'm Laverne McGee. Thanks for joining us. The timing, remarkable, as Sunday marks 16 years since Hurricane Katrina slammed Louisiana. Hurricane Katrina caused severe flooding to several cities. New Orleans was the hardest hit due to the levees breaking. Remember when all those people, thousands of them, were forced to take shelter in the Superdome? More than 1,800 deaths were attributed to the storm across the Gulf region, and the storm left an estimated $125 billion of damage. So what we're looking at is a hurricane that's rapidly intensifying. It has in the last 24 hours. It poses a very serious risk to the northern Gulf Coast, especially Louisiana and Mississippi. Once again, it's expected to arrive on Sunday as a major category for hurricane. So the time to prepare is right now. Dr. Dory Sergev is joining us now from Johns Hopkins University. Welcome, Dr. Dory. I want to talk about this new CDC study that's out today. It shows coronavirus vaccine efficacy dropped from 91% to 66% once the Delta variant accounted for the majority of circulating virus. Uh, tell us, what is the most important takeaway for people who are vaccinated and those who are unvaccinated? Well, the most important take home message for everyone is that Delta isn't playing around. Delta. Welcome back to BNC. We're back with more on today's deadly attack in Afghanistan. I'm joined now by Wes Bryant. He retired from the Air Force after 20 years of active duty service. He was deployed as part of a special task force in Iraq, Syria, Afghanistan to fight ISIS. Wes is also the co-author of Hunting the Caliphate, America's War on ISIS and the Dawn of the Strike. So welcome back to BNC Live, Wes. We heard not too long ago from President Biden. He says he is planning to strike ISIS-K targets following today's deadly attack. Start first by telling us exactly who ISIS-K is. Yeah, ISIS-K, um, you know, emerging around 2015 to 2016 time frame. Evacuations are ramping up in Afghanistan, and the Pentagon says 19,000 evacuees left the country within the last 24 hours. And 88,000 people have been evacuated so far. But there are still more than 10,000 waiting at Kabul's airport. BNC's chief foreign affairs correspondent, Nara Huck, has more. Here is what we know about what... In the black, stocks edge higher, extending their rally. The Dow rose 39 points to close at 35,405. The S&P 500 added 10 points to a new closing high of just under 4,500. And the Nasdaq gained 22 points, also closing at a new high of 15,041. Also, a new closing high. Stay with us. We'll be right back after this quick break. To know um, with this this whole new cast of, of characters. Listen, we are in the middle of Emmy voting right now since nominations were announced. It'll close on the 30th. It's kind of a wide open race, and we're going to see some possible history getting made in some different areas. Billy Porter uh, is looking to be leading the lead actor drama race uh, for his performance in FX's Pose, which just had its final season. Uh, he will be just the second black man in history to not only win an Emmy, but then win again, because he won for the first season. His co-star, MJ Rodriguez, could become the first Afro-Latina and also first trans actress to win lead actress drama. So there's a lot of heat on, on various categories. We have uh, Lovecraft Country that's nominated in every single acting category. Never happened in the history of the Emmys for a, a majority of black cast members. It's actually a really, really interesting race. The Crown is kind of what leads the drama side. And then WandaVision is the big talk in a limited series, but I May Destroy You uh, could be creeping up there along with Queen's Gambit and Mayor of Easttown. Well, so uh, the black actors and actresses doing well then. I mean, we, we know that, you know, in the past, <laughs> there's been so much talk of Hollywood and the the entertainment industry you know keeping black folks out from really getting their their due uh props yeah i mean listen we're, we're making 
we're making strides in that direction. I am one of the ones that will always tell you that the enemy of progress is complacency. We must never let our foot off the gas. We are seeing progress, great. But as we saw in film last year with the Oscars having the most diverse acting slate ever, me looking ahead 50,000 feet uh, from the ground, we're not gonna have a huge, it doesn't look to be a huge diverse slate that could be coming on the film side this year. So we usually take like one step forward, two steps back. Let's keep the pressure. We're seeing strides. Michael K. Williams could be the first black man to ever win a supporting actor drama category. There's so many things to celebrate and we're gonna celebrate them, but also look ahead to the future. So this becomes the norm and not an outlier. Yeah, we got a lot to look forward to there. All right, let's talk about Jada Pinkett Smith. She's keeping busy from her red table talk to her upcoming appearance in the Matrix 4, Matrix 4, and now she's got a new gig with Netflix. Tell us all about it. Well, now we can say it's called Matrix Resurrections. We finally know the title because they debuted it at CinemaCon. Uh, Netflix has given not just one, but a two season order to the hybrid docuseries. It's about African Queens. It's gonna be produced by her company that, with her husband, Will Smith, Westbrook Studios. And it's gonna follow a different African queen every year. It's actually gonna start with Cleopatra. This is, a, this is great to see a black woman get this notoriety and this opportunity, because as we just saw uh, Reese Witherspoon sell her company for just shy of a billion, billion dollars, I would like to see similar fashions for more black women out there, more people of color to get those opportunities and to get so much um, faith early on to say, yeah, we'll take two seasons of this and not just one. And it shows that Netflix is uh, doing the right thing in that department. All right, cool. Well, Clayton, I hope you have an awesome weekend. We'll talk to you about entertainment again, hopefully next week, but enjoy the weekend and thanks for catching us up. Take care. And stay with us, everyone. Much more news ahead. We'll be right back. This is BNC.